space agencies and private companies are currently developing theories and methods to reach other stars. In today's video, we will introduce you to important information that could make interstellar travel more possible. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. The nearest star. The distance from the Earth to the Moon, 383,400 kilometers, is only a tiny fraction of the distance to the Sun, while the distance from the Earth to the Sun, 149.81 million kilometers, is a proverbial drop in the ocean compared to the distance to the nearest star to the Sun. The closest star to our solar system is Proxima Centauri. It's part of a triple star system called Alpha Centauri and is about 4.24 light-years from Earth. The star is therefore 4 trillion kilometers away from the Earth. Currently, our fastest and most reliable form of space travel is ion propulsion. Because of the immense distance from Earth to Proxima Centauri, it takes 18,000 years to travel by ion propulsion. At our current rate of technological innovation, it would be pointless to develop a technology that could catch up and overtake the ion-propelled spacecraft years after launch from Earth. New Methods and Theories Elon Musk's private company, SpaceX, has already revived the race to Mars and beyond with its proven reusable rocket boosters and is planning a historic manned mission to the ISS with its reusable Crew Dragon capsule. But it's not the only company looking to make big strides in spaceflight. Privately funded and volunteer initiatives include the Tau Zero Foundation, the ominously named Project Icarus, and Breakthrough Starshot. All of these aim to achieve liftoff for interstellar travel. Although the ultimate goal is to take humans to other planets and solar systems, one company, Breakthrough Starshot, believes it can be the first to take an unmanned spacecraft to our nearest neighboring star, Proxima Centauri, using an intriguing method. The $100 million initiative is privately funded and aims to deliver a tiny probe to the star by shooting the extremely lightweight sail from Earth with a powerful laser beam. The company is betting on miniaturizing future technologies that would allow a spacecraft so light, weighing less than a gram, that it could be propelled by the impact of a laser to eventually accelerate at about one-fifth the speed of light. At that speed, the spacecraft could reach Proxima Centauri in about 20 years. For this to be achievable, technological advances are needed that would allow a tiny spacecraft to carry thrusters, a power supply, navigation, and communications equipment so that it can beam back what it sees when it reaches Proxima B. Awning A solar sail has been shown to be able to change its orbit with a light sail that converts the energy of photons from sunlight into propulsion power. While the relatively simple and inexpensive production of solar sails makes them a cost-effective method for space travel, it's unlikely that they will ever have the propulsive energy needed to transport humans. They also rely on light from stars, which means the laser-based alternative is the more viable option. To achieve the speed required to travel long distances, they also need time to accelerate. Currently, Solar sails are considered a more viable method for transporting satellites within our solar system rather than ferrying humans to distant star system. Magnetic sail. Magnetic sail is a variation of the solar sail that is driven by the solar wind rather than sunlight. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles that has its own magnetic field. A magnetic sail would surround a spacecraft with a magnetic field that repels the field of the solar wind resulting in the magnetic propulsion of the spacecraft away from the sun. Unfortunately, as with solar sails, the magnetic sail has its limitations as a method for interstellar travel. As a sail-driven magnetic spacecraft moves farther away from the sun, the intensity of the sun's light and solar wind drops dramatically, meaning that it's unable to pick up the speed necessary to be propelled to another star. Interstellar travel at the speed of light is theoretically possible. 
The theory of special relativity states that light particles, photons, travel through a vacuum at a constant speed of 1,079,252,848 km per hour. If we could use a vehicle that could approach that speed, interstellar travel would be a very different proposition than it is today. As NASA points out, there are actually instances throughout space in which particles that are not photons are being accelerated to nearly the speed of light. From black holes to our near-Earth environment, there could be particles that are accelerated to incredible speeds. These particles can help us use methods to achieve such speeds ourselves. Wormholes could be a shortcut to other parts of the universe. Apart from predicting the existence of black holes, Einstein's general theory of relativity also enabled the prediction of the existence of wormholes. Wormholes, or black holes, are tunnel-like shortcuts that traverse space and time. The chances of ever being able to travel interstellar through a wormhole are extremely low. Firstly, there aren't even any specific wormholes. Secondly, it's assumed that any kind of matter that would enter a wormhole would cause it to close immediately. Although it might be possible to stabilize the matter surrounding a wormhole and keep it open using a negative energy field called ghost radiation, these are all just theories. Wormholes are also problematic because the fact that they could transport matter through space would mean that they are also a form of time machine and would therefore be a violation of the laws of cause and effect. Space travel without fuel. It was hypothesized that we could generate thrust by pumping microwaves into a conical chamber. Theoretically, the microwaves should bounce off the chamber walls exponentially. In this way, they would generate enough propulsion to propel a spacecraft without fuel. Dark matter as an energy source. In this theory, the energy of dark matter is to be used to propel a rocket. The advantage? It would be an engine that doesn't rely on chemical combustion, which means it would remove the shackles of our current methods of interstellar travel. The problem with dark matter rockets? We know next to nothing about dark matter, other than the fact that it does exist. This form of travel depends heavily on future discoveries. It's worth investigating, however, simply because dark matter is everywhere. If it could be used as fuel, we would have an endless supply. Nuclear Fusion Reactor for Space Travel Fusion rockets are a type of spacecraft that rely on nuclear fusion reactions to take us to the farthest reaches of space. The possibility of developing such a rocket was explored in the 1970s. These rockets would rely on the enormous amounts of energy released during nuclear fusion. The main method for releasing this energy in rockets is a method called inertial confinement fusion. In this method, high-power lasers would blast a small pellet of fuel so that its outer layers explode. This would in turn crush the inner layers of the pellet and trigger fusion. Magnetic fields would then be used to direct the flow of energy from the back of the spacecraft to propel it forward. Such a vehicle could travel the distance to Proxima Centauri in 50 years. The main problem with this method? Despite decades of work, a working rocket fusion reactor is not yet in the pipeline. Core Impulse Drive By far the craziest form of interstellar travel is the nuclear impulse propulsion method. In this method, a spacecraft would be propelled by periodically dropping a nuclear bomb from the back of the craft before launching it at just the right distance. A spacecraft with nuclear impulse propulsion would have to be equipped with a huge shock absorber that would provide strong radiation shielding to protect the passengers. Although such a spacecraft could theoretically reach speeds of up to 10% the speed of light, the concept has not yet been pursued. Astronauts need ecosystems to survive the journey. Astronauts must be prepared for their long journeys. Even if we could travel at 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, it would take us about four years to get to our next star system. Cryosleep for the incredibly long journeys between stars. The idea of cryosleep has been seriously considered as a way to allow humans to travel long distances without aging 
and without having to be awake for months at a time. In 2016, NASA funded research into a type of suspended animation that would put entire crews into cryogenic sleep for the duration of long space missions. They were working on a way to put astronauts into a controlled state of advanced hypothermia that would allow them to hibernate during long journeys throughout space.